Hi friends, my name is Prasad and you're watching Power BA with Prasad. So today I come up with a new real-time scenario, how to find week of month. So here my situation is like I need to find uh, the sales based upon like, okay, um, I need to have a filter upon week of month so that I can filter upon year and then a month and then week of that particular month also so that I can have okay sales for that particular individual month so if we don't have any sales okay it will come blank and then if you have any sales it will show us that particular this is our scenario and then before going into a uh, solution just i want to have a small intro regarding our okay, uh, course like we are starting new power BI with sql okay new batch online training and then if you're interested you can contact on this number and then if you want to know like what is the syllabus and the topics that we are going to cover okay you can have the content as a video in the description. So just click on that and then you can see what are the things that we go over when to teach you. Like that completely includes okay, the total Power BI, two pilot projects, and then one real time project, and then complete Power BI services. And then obviously, a skill. If you want to go ahead and then just uh, know something else, okay, just uh, contact the number and then you'll have the details. Or else, just click on the link in the description and then you can find what is the syllabus that we're. Right. We'll go into our solution for this. Okay, okay. Uh, here to find the week of month, we do have an option in Power Query, but there is an issue with that. So let me show you like what is the issue for that. Again, like if we we created uh, the date dimension in the DAX and then we can't take that back into like transformation. So in Power Query, we'll have the tables only which we get from okay the source. That is true. Let me show you that. So you can see here, okay, the artist table, okay, my fact table, which I get it from my source only can be visible over here. I can't get the date dimension which I created in the tag, so okay, over here. Again, if you feel that you can create, okay, so uh, month of week over here, that's fine, you can create, but we do have an issue with that. So let me show you that one also. So here, okay, so here in this particular thing, the week of month, which I got it from Power Query. So on this particular order date, I've been created using okay Power Query mouse operations. I've been created week of month column, and then I got it into the filter. And then, like if you can see, like okay for each and every month, we do have like okay a couple of weeks. But still, let me show you one okay error that we can see. In February, the first week in the first week I don't have sales. Then if you click on this particular month again, then you can see the first week. But this is not what we do, what we want. Okay, this there is something that we need to like see here. So even if for February, I can see like all the months and then if for this month, like it, is, it need to show blank. It's, it should not be like, okay, disappear. So for this, how we can do that? So for that, okay, I want to make it from the scratch so that you can understand. I'll just make it in simple steps. And after that, I'll, I'll just let you know, like what is the complete way that we can do it in one single step. For that, I just go on to take you to entirely the fresh table. And then here, I don't have any other things. I do have only order table. And then I want to create a, Date dimension for you people. So how we can create a date dimension? Very simple. Dim date. I want to name it as a dim date, and then again, uh, let's make it okay. Uh, very simple. Calendar auto. I want to use that one so that I'll have all the dates, and then enter. We'll have the date dimension. Then again, I want to I want to go for model, and then I want to like have a relation between these two tables. So from date to like okay, auto date. I want to like have a relation. So I, I got the relation, and then again, I'll go into like my data view. Here, okay, to uh, to explain you the logic, let me take you uh, to an image over here. So this is, okay, let's suppose that this is a 2022 year, and then this is, okay, my April 2022 month. And then let me explain you with some example, like over here. So if you want to like find the week numbers, okay, you can see this is the first week of April, this is the second week of April, and then this is the third week of April, so on, okay, so, we do have, okay, so all the weeks of April. And then this is what we need to get for this. Okay, we need to get one, and then here two, and then three, four, five. And then if it is next month, then again, like one, two, three, four, five. To achieve that here, we do have uh, two scenarios. Like we can simply find the week number of that particular date in the entire year. That is very easy over here to find it using some, okay, week num function, we can find it. And then again, so how can we find the week of that particular month? We can find using week num, we can find the week of that entire year. A particular day, 
it comes under which week of that particular year we can get it. But how can we get it week of month? So for that, one simple logic is to find that particular rakhi. Mm. Okay, day, let us suppose that this day, to find that particular day's okay, week, num uh, week number. So first of all, find the week number of that particular uh, date in the total year and then subtract okay the week number which we get from the start of the month and then add one so that you will get the answer so first of all what you need to do first of all you need to find okay that particular okay wait uh week number and then again you need to find the starting day of that particular month's week number you need to subtract them and then plus one you need to add one then only you can get that answer so again, like rather than okay, uh, doing all the description, let me show you how we can do that. So let me take into the uh, empty table and then let me make it from the scratch. So here I'll explain you uh, from the beginning in the basic way, and then afterwards I'll I'll make it all together in one column, and then I'll explain you like how we how we, how we can make it in a simple way. So first of all, as we discussed earlier, okay, let me create create a new table. So I'm trying to make you simple. So I'm I'm creating uh, like okay, a couple of columns, and then I'm trying to explain you. So for this particular date, okay, so each and every date, what, uh, like in particular year, so what is the week number of that particular date? So how we can get that? So week of year, we can get that one. So week num is the function that you need to use. And then you need to take that particular date. I want to take the dim date, date state, and I want to close that. So again, like you will get, okay, what, in which week does this particular okay, date comes into the in that particular year? So you can see for each and every year, like we'll have like 52 to 53 weeks. You can see, okay, so here okay, it is like 53 weeks, okay, in this particular year. Again, like we want to find uh, the second step to achieve our goal is to find okay, every every day is that particular month starting date, whatever the date is. Okay, so for that particular date, what is the month starting date we want to find that one so for that again i want to create another column and then okay so start of month start of month of each and every day right so hope you can find that okay start of month is the function we do have start of month and then like we need to give that particular date so i want to give the dim date date and then close it so that i can get for each and every date that particular month starting date so you can see for the entire January month, okay, for each and every date of that particular month, you'll have the starting date as January 1st of 2022. And then if you come to like February, you can see like, okay, 1st of February is the okay, starting month of each and every date of that particular month. So once you achieve this, okay, you need to find this starting day's week of that particular year. So what earlier we find the start uh, the week of that year for this date, right now I want to find the starting days of the starting starting day of the month's week over here to achieve the solution. So again, I want to create a new column and then I want to find so week of start of month. For starting date of the month, I want to find the week of the year. How we can do that? Again, same function, but right now here I want to use in this date, this date, the start of month date, now this function, you need to use this particular column and then finish that one. So you'll get, okay, the start of month, okay, this particular, okay, dates, okay, week number. So as I told earlier, okay, we got, okay, the dates, week of year, and then the dates starting day of that particular month's week of year. So we got two things and then we need to subtract it plus add one. So that will get the answer. So let me do that in another table. So add column. And again, like let me make it in a easier way so that you can understand. So okay, month of week. Week. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's like week of month. Week of month. And then equal to first of all, we need to subtract from this to this, and then we need to add one. So week of year minus week of start of month and then plus one will get the answer. So let me show you that one in a simple thing. You can see 
for okay from one to four okay five hours okay here you can see the first week and second week and third week fourth week fifth week again for the next month okay you can see from february first okay you can see again first two three four five and then one two three four five six also available like this dates this date comes into like sixth week sometimes okay if the month starts at the end of the okay first week and then like then obviously that that first will come in the sixth week so in that way we can have the week of month and then i've been told, told you like in different columns but right now i want to make it all together in one column like i don't want to use okay so for explanation to make you people to understand very easily i i made it these many columns but general i don't want to make these many columns i just want to simply make all the things in one column how we can do that very simple so let's make it in variables or else like you can make it even directly also but let me see how we can do that one very simple let's create a new column and then from the scratch you need to make it so how we can that okay so week of month i want to make it already we have a column so i want to make it as two and then here i want to make it to go into next line i want to make it like alt enter and then here i want to write it like either you can write it in okay uh, directly or else you can use variables but my intention is like if i can use the variable so that you can understand more easy and this is the best practice to write uh, complex or okay bigger uh, dax functions okay easier way so using variables you can write the dax function very easy so let me make it like that variable i want to make it like okay start of year so they say whatever your name okay that you want to keep so Start of year or else okay you can't keep like same okay uh, reserve this is a reserve reserve word okay we do have a particular function with that so we we can do that okay like that a start of year okay strt start of year or something else or else okay week of sorry week of year we can make it like week of year i'll make it like that and then you can write same thing that we've been already made so week of year sorry week num week num and then like the date you want to give the for that okay then date date where is that one again so what have been done so sorry in date date again yes right now let me finish that again let me come into like uh, here and then like return and then okay as a result like i'll show you like we step by step what we are trying to do so this variable and then click OK so that you can see the same thing that we are going to get here. And again, like right now, I'll make it some other variables over here. Variable, and then I want to find start of year, uh, start of month. So I want to make it like that. And then start of month, but again, like dim date, date, I want to use that one. So let me show you what's the answer of this one. So start of month, ST is something like this. Okay, so you can see the answer of that one. So this is the answer. This is the step that I've been got it in a second variable. And then I want to make it like, okay, third variable, variable. And then I want to make, okay, okay, the week of start of month, okay, the one which I've been created. So week of start of month. So this is what I want to create. And then again, like for that, you can write either okay from here or else you can just simply use okay week number in the above step also so rather than writing this one i want to like okay make it the above step so simply you can write week num over here at this particular date simply and then again if you click enter then you can see the week number of this particular starting date you get it over here simple thing then again in the next step okay you can make it variable Okay, you can write it as a result or else you can simply write it. Okay, this particular variable output that you can write after the return also, but I want to make it as a variable so that you can understand. So first of all, I want to make, okay, the week, this particular variable, I want to take this one and then minus this one, this one, this minus this one, and then again, plus one, I want to make it, and then this result I want to use over here so as an output. Simple. And then click OK. You're getting the week of month to the same. Earlier I've been using three, three to four different columns, and then I created that one. 
So it will obviously increase the model size, but okay, here I've been made, okay, only one column using variables. So I don't want to like uh, have all these columns. You can simply go ahead and then delete all those columns one by one, and then you can keep only this column so that uh, you're, you're not going to increase your uh, model size at the same time you can do it all together in one step. So obviously, every time if you have a big scenario, if you want to like uh, make it easier, just split it into like different parts and then write it in the variables. And after that in the, in the written function or as, okay, in the final step, you can just add all together in a proper way and then you can get, okay, the solutions. Every real-time solution will be uh, okay in the same format. You can't use only one function to achieve that particular logic. Most of the real time scenarios will be in the same way that you need to use combination of multiple functions to achieve that particular okay, scenario or answer, whatever it might be. So just okay, practice in such a way that okay, you need to combine multiple uh, functions to achieve the answer. This is the proper way to like practice yourself so that you can have uh, like a good tax knowledge and then you can have a real-time experience also hope this is useful for you people and then if you need more okay this kind of okay scenarios just uh, comment on this particular video and then you can ask your questions so that i can make videos upon that and then if you like this please like and share this video to like okay needed people thank you so much i'll catch you in another video until then have a great day bye